It's hard not to be a fan of a credit card that gives you more while saving you money every single day. The Illini Visa Rewards Card, available only through U of I Community Credit Union. Welcome back to the Thursday walkthrough here again with Coach Lovey Smith and Coach coming off a of bye week. Uh, you had an opportunity to get out of the office, uh, get away from uh, Champaign a little bit and, and do some recruiting. Uh, how was that to get back into the schools? Uh, really good. It's been a while. Um, you know, I've gone to high school games before, but, um, you know, head coaches can't go out in the spring and uh, evaluate. So, again, it's the first time to be able to go out to a school. The reception was great. Um, so just seeing as many players as I pop or, you know, their coaches at mm -hmm. least uh, that I could before. And uh, I told my wife I was taking out on a, you know, uh, great night out. Uh, so we had a chance to go. I had a chance to take her to a high school, a couple of high school football games. And uh, that was a lot of fun. It really was. That's a good, efficient night out, right? Hit, hit it, a couple. It, it, it was that. And, uh, of course, she's been around football all her life, too, and uh, kind of brought us back to some of our old memories, you know, when our sons played. So, again, it's been a while. But uh, we saw good football. There are good football players out there that are interested in the University of Illinois, and that's mm -hmm. a good thing. Now, when you're meeting some of these high school coaches for the first time, what are you hoping that they get out of their first interaction with you and, and maybe for some of them, their first interaction really with the University of Illinois? Well, of course, they, you know, most of them know quite a bit about our university. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I wanted to do is, you know, some of them I didn't know, just let them, you know, we've been talking to them a lot, but uh, to see a face with the guy they've been talking to and, and more specific, you know, our plans for their athletes. I mean, that's what, you know, I was really going out. Uh, a to do, and um, and there, just about every school I went to, there was somebody there that we really want, and letting those coaches uh, hear from the head coach himself. And so, other than that piece, there was a lot of work that had to be done here last week. Uh, you know, in the bye week is an opportunity to really practice maybe a little bit harder without having to worry about a game uh, yes. on that Saturday. What were a couple of the big things you were hoping the team took off of the field last week? Well, there are some things we need to tighten up. Simple as that all three phases, uh, just individual play. Uh, you know, you kind of set the bar, you know, you have three games to look and evaluate. Mm -hmm. And so for us, our plan going into the bye week was to go back and hold training camp type practices, good on good, offense versus defense. And that's what we were able to do for two of the days, padded practices mm -hmm. and just situational football, uh, whether it be red zone, uh, first, third downs, just all this two-minute situation we had. So we had great competition last week. Uh, the bye week is also a time to uh, heal up a little bit. We had mm -hmm. a few players with injuries. That extra week should uh, really put them in a good place to be uh, ready to go this week. Well, and, and this week, Nebraska, obviously, first divisional game uh, yeah. here in, in the Big Ten West. And uh, are the divisional games more important than some of the non-conference games to you? Absolutely. Um, in comparison a little bit to the NFL. I mean, mm -hmm. you can say that non-conference games are your preseason, really. And, uh, but once you get into the conference, that's when it really counts. So for us, there's been some disappointment the first quarter of the season, but it's just what we do from here on out. Mm -hmm. And to start Big Ten play against a good, you know, an undefeated Nebraska team, this will be a true gauge on how far we've come. And I think we've come a long way. Well, and, and Another week, another very balanced offense, another good defense, and another uh, very good returner in, in Pearsonell. And uh, yes. do you feel the team again is, is excited for the opportunity to play against guys that uh, a lot of people in the country are talking about? Uh, absolutely, um, and for a lot of reasons. You know, talk about the conference opponent going on the road, but um, you know, also we're, we're we're 21 point underdogs and. You know, whenever, you know, that's saying not a lot of people really believe that we really have a chance. As a competitor, you look forward to those challenges of, 
And again, it's one thing to beat a good team at home, but to go on the road when everything is against you, we're looking forward to that. And we have a history. Uh, you know, there are some things that we like that we did last year, but mm -hmm. uh, we beat this team last year. So we have players on our team that know how to do that, and we'll call upon them this week. Do you get excited being on the road and kind of the us against the world mentality, the loud crowd being the visitors? Yes, uh, there's no doubt when you're an underdog, you know, there's extra motivation a little bit, you know, and you have to really kind of rely on just, you know, truly, you know, the guys on that team, mm -hmm. you know, in our colors, you know, the fighting Illini. So that's what we're going to have to rely on. And we, we feel like that'll be enough. But uh, we are definitely looking forward to this challenge. And so during the week, some of the preparation for competing in a road game, uh, do you add some noise to the offense, try to help them to, to get used to communicating more without being able to verbalize it? Yes, you do. And um, times have kind of changed a little bit throughout the years. You know, there was a time when practice was, you know, you had a quiet practice. Mm -hmm. But for us, you know, there's always some type of noise going on. We have music from start until the end of practice, but we will amp that up this week to mm -hmm. add crowd noise for our offense. So, Every time we go on the road, we'll have crowd noise for the offense, and it, it is hard at communicating, and mm -hmm. that will give you a sense of what it'd be like on Saturday. Now, I've heard some of the playlists out there. Is that your playlist, or <laughs> do you slip some of your tunes You've in? You've heard it some out? of it, so you know that that's probably not my uh, idea of an ideal playlist, but I'm adjusting to modern times. Occasionally, I get a little bit of old school R&B in there, and sneak one in. And uh, I notice those songs more than anything else. What's one song that would be on your playlist? Oh, one song that on mine would probably be. Um, I mean, there's a lot uh, that, but I'm more of a uh, George Clinton, Parliament, Funkadelic type guy. All right. So any song from that group, I'm okay with. All right, well, Coach, thank you for your time, and this has been the Thursday Walkthrough.